Today, I'm going to show you how to make a bamboo farm for your world that is easy to make and will get you a ton of bamboo. You can then hook this bamboo farm up to a furnace system to use as an infinite fuel source. Let's dive in. And as far as the materials you need goes, you're going to need about this much bamboo for the entire farm. You can start off with a much lower amount, though, and let the farm kind of run while you collect more to plant more. But this is the total amount. And then here are all of the other materials that you're going to need. Any of these blocks can be any type of solid block. They're really more decorative than anything else. And then here's what you need in terms of all the little redstone bits, pieces, and other things. And you will need to find and get yourself five LAs, which we will talk about later. Okay, so first things first, when we get this started, location is important. So while this can go pretty much anywhere in your world, it does have to sit in a very specific location because we're going to be using flying machines. And flying machines can break if they are not properly aligned over chunk borders. So I'm gonna recommend that you either go to my Discord channel and download this chunk border pack that's gonna show you this display on the screen you see in the top right right now when you get on a chunk edge or a chunk corner, or if you're on a console or um, you're on mobile and don't know how to install add-ons and that sort of thing, then I recommend that you just hop on YouTube and search up how to find chunk borders in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, and they'll walk you through it somewhere on there. But for us, we do have this add-on, so let me go and let me find a corner. Boom, okay, so we have a chunk corner here and a chunk corner here. I'm just gonna mark them in two different colors. Um, and then we're gonna go over and find the other corner of this green one. That puts the red one right here. And then we're gonna find the other corner of this red one. And then the other corner of this red one. Boom. And then on the end of either one of the red ones, we need to we need to mark one more chunk corner. So we'll go ahead and mark green. And then I'll go out to the edge and mark green here. So we have four chunk corners that we have kind of established. And these are where we're going to build our flying machines. Okay, so we're gonna start building our four different flying machines here. And we're gonna start over here on one side. So we're not gonna work off the center. We're gonna work off of the side right here. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go up one, two blocks, just like this. And then I'm gonna come over one, two, three, four, five, six, and then go up one. And then from here, I'm gonna put a temporary block, knock that out and come out one, two, and then go over one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we could put a, another block on the edge right there. And then from here, before I start building in all of the like guts to this thing, um, we're gonna place a piece of obsidian here and a piece of obsidian here because this will stop the flying machine. If you put any block, the flying machine that the pistons cannot move like obsidian down, um, it will keep this thing from getting away from you while you build it, which is going to be a good idea. Uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to start from this side right here, and I'm going to place down an observer looking that way, a piston facing this way, an observer facing that way, and a sticky piston facing this way. Do the same thing over here. Observer, piston, observer, sticky piston. That's it. That's your flying machine, people. We need to attach one on the other side, though, too. So on this side of the chunk border, we're going to place down a block. We're going to count out one, two, three, four, five, six, and go up one like that. And from here, temporary block, place a block, one, two, and then and that one, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then same thing that we did over there. We could go ahead and place down our observer, piston, observer, sticky piston, observer, piston, observer, and sticky piston. And just to give you a good bird's eye view of how this thing is lined up, that's what you're looking at right here. This is one of our two flying machines all the way done. Oh, I forgot to put this guy right over here. Bam, we're good to go there. And we do want to, I forgot to do it. We want to make sure this thing can't go anywhere. So let's go ahead and just place these down too. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do the same thing that I did over there, over here. Okay, so now that we have all four flying machines created, we want to go out about 60 blocks in this direction to make our farm the length that it needs to be. 
I would not go more than 60 blocks because if you do, the LA that we're going to be using for the collection system won't be able to detect and get the bamboo on the outer corners and it's going to just create waste and you're not going to get anything out of it anyway, right? So let's just go from here, which we're at negative 17. You see in the top left hand corner, we want to go to about negative 77. Here we go. So about right here should be fine. What we want to do is line up with this front edge of the flying machines. So we're lined up with the front edge of it there. Go over here a little bit. Make sure we're in line here. Is that right? Yeah, line it with the front edge there. Put our obsidian down. Same thing on the other side. Again, this is important because we need to make sure that our flying machines actually stop. If you don't put obsidian down, they're not going to stop. And then what we can do now is we can actually grab bamboo, which is what we're going to be using later. We can actually just send this thing off to test it. So I could put down two pieces of bamboo on each one of these slots right here. You'll always want to put them on the inside observer because that's what will set off the uh, flying machine in the right direction. Um, I'm going to take these back up for now because I don't need to leave them there. I don't want the farm to trigger itself back off. And as you can see, the flying machines work fine and they should without issue run into the little stoppers that we've placed in. And there we go. Perfect. And I can go ahead and send them back. We at this point know that our flying machines work absolutely bye perfectly. Bye. Okay. Except for this one. Stop. <laughs> How did I mess that up? Be careful with your flying machines, people. Don't let them get away. Okay, so next thing we need to do is we actually need to build our LA drop-off station. We're going to be using this bamboo in this video for furnace fuel. So we're actually also going to build a pretty simple smelter right here by where all of our bamboo is going to be collected because that's probably going to be your most common use case to need this much bamboo. So I've marked a little pad here in the center. This is like the middle between here and here and the middle of the row here, because this is where the note block's going to go. Um, and what we'll do is we'll go up maybe one, two, three, four. And on that fifth block, we're going to put the note block. Now we do need to constantly make this make sound. Now, if you want it to be a little bit quieter, you can use a bone block like this. It just makes a light tapping sound. Then uh, we could go ahead, place down a couple of observers, face one down, get the other one facing up like so. And then it's making a constant ticking sound. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and surround this area with some type of floor. And I recommend making it a five by five is probably going to be your best size like this. And then just so I can see easier, I'm going to surround it with glass right here. You don't have to use glass. You can use, you know, pretty much whatever block you want to should be fine like this. Uh, but we are going to put a hole on one side. We're going to put a hole right there. And I'm going to build up one of these corners just like this. We're going to get a water bucket or drop water right here. And that's going to flow water out here to the corner. Um, we do need to make sure Lay cannot throw items on top of our box. We cannot put items on top of it. Because as you can see, if you do, it stops playing sound. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some trap doors. Uh, let me get rid of that bottom one I used to place there. Like this and bring them about four tall. So that's one, two, three, four. Close them all up and put one on top there and you're good to go. You got a little tower above there. It keeps the Alay from dropping items on top of it because they're going to throw it about this level. Um, also, we do want to keep Alay from throwing items at the bottom as well. So you're going to want to go ahead and close this area off too. Just don't let them get underneath. There we go. Perfect. So now we don't have to worry about any Alay getting down there. And now we want to make a little area for our furnaces. If you're enjoying today's video, help it get discovered by more people by clicking the like button and leaving a comment. Also, if you enjoy my videos, click the subscribe button, join my discord channel and become a channel member by clicking the join button. Members get awesome perks, including access to my members only Minecraft servers. Now back to the video. Now for the furnaces, we we'll have them face the side that the water's coming out of, right? So first of all, we need to get rid of this and we need to put down a, a block of ice because we do need items to slide across this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of go ahead of it like this right here because we're going to have our fuel bamboo in this case coming in right here and then what we're going to do is we're going to go eight furnaces out so one two and eight and then we're going to put a space then we're going to do another one two three and four now if you want this farm to be able to produce enough bamboo 
to only power the furnaces that are here, 12 furnaces is what you need. This farm will keep up with about 12 furnaces worth of bamboo in terms of constantly smelting, never stopping. My recommendation though, is to actually go further than that. I would go out about 24. So we'll add in another one, two, three, four, a space, and then another one, two, and eight. Let's go ahead and let's place hoppers into the back of all of our furnaces for our fuel to make it in. Every time you have a gap, go ahead and put in a piece of ice. Okay, now we also do need a way to get our items we're gonna smelt in here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this right here. Uh, we can fill these gaps with another solid block just like that. And then we're gonna wanna put a solid block here and here, here like this. And then we need to get some rails down. So go ahead and put down a powered rail there, a regular rail, and then we're gonna run powered rails all the way down just to make it nice and easy. We don't have to do any guesswork. And then on the last one, put a regular rail and a powered rail. Go ahead and power this right here so that stays on all the time. Uh, go ahead and put a powered block above this. Go ahead and put a powered block above this. Uh, over here, go ahead and close this in because we want to make sure our water does not get out. And let's get our water in over here first, actually. So we need water to flow items down this way. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a slab right here above this one. This will keep the allays from getting in here once we close it off. Uh, we can go ahead and put uh, water in this spot right here. It's going to flow down. It's going to stop there. Put a button down, put water in this spot right here. Let it flow put a button down and put water in this spot right here. And then we want to go ahead. We want to cover all of this up because we do not want the LA trying to pick up the bamboo that is going to be flowing across. They can also grab through corners. So I recommend putting a block across here too. It does not have to be glass. I'm just using glass so that way you guys can see later. And they may still even try to come over here and get it. So if you really want to go the extra mile and kind of protect this thing from having any LA come in, I would go ahead and just run glass across this section right here and this section right here. And that'll keep any LA from trying to get any of the bamboo and it'll just keep them working a little bit more efficiently. And then take that half slab again and place it right here. That way you can reach your minecart chest you're gonna put here. Um, also go ahead and put a lever right here and then you can put a minecart chest down. Um, this will work obviously with any type of furnace system. I'm just doing something super easy for you guys. That way you don't have to do a lot of work on this if you don't know a lot about furnace systems. But basically what we're gonna be able to do is we'll be able to load all of our items we wanna smelt in there, flip the lever, it'll distribute them down, and then it'll come back and then we'll be able to have all of our smeltable items come in. I'm gonna go ahead and run all of these hoppers to a storage area now. By hoppers, I meant um, all these furnaces. We're gonna go ahead and put a chest here a chest here, here, and here again. You could do the storage however you want to. We're just gonna keep it nice and simple. Uh, we're gonna run all of this into here and then make sure all of our hoppers run down this way. So now all of our items from all those furnaces will flow into here and then same thing on this side. Actually, I placed the chest on this side. I shouldn't have. It's gonna get in the way of the flying machine down there. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn this thing around like this and then face it all this way. Now we should be good. It's on the back side now, uh, but it gets it out the way. Uh, I'm going to get this piece of ice again. We're going to continue this. We're going to have items come this way. And then I'm going to count out. Let's count out one, two, three, four, five, six like this. I think that's going to be good. Um, let's grab hoppers again. Let's run hoppers in this direction. We then need to face some hoppers forward like this. And then we can place some chests down. So what we're doing is we're actually giving ourselves some overflow storage. So not only are we going to use bamboo for the furnace system here, but also we're going to store some additional bamboo over here. Like so. OK, there we go. Perfect. So anything that makes it past this point will drop into this hopper right here and then fill up these chests. Okay, so once you have everything done here, it is first time to bring in your lays. Now, uh, I have a video on where to find the lays and how to clone them. 
I will put a link up above my head somewhere here and down in the description below if you want to check it out. But once you get your lays here, I recommend getting five of them. Four may work, but five is going to make sure everything works nice and efficiently and you don't have bamboo despawning because this farm is fast, people. It's very fast. So now that we have our five lays here, what we're going to do is we're going to start putting down our bamboo. Now, you don't need enough bamboo to fill the whole thing right away. It's fine if you don't have that much bamboo, right? Let's say you only have enough bamboo to do a few rows of this. Maybe you only have a few stacks of it. Let's fill in a small area here. And we're gonna fill it in just everywhere that our flying machine is gonna fly over. All right, so now I've put some down. We have it, it's been growing, right? We would also put in our trigger bamboos, which is gonna be these two guys right here. And once they grow, they're gonna knock down that little bit of bamboo I had delay they're gonna come and pick it all up and they're gonna come drop it off over here and here they come they're dropping it all in i did put down a few pieces of ice here and it's just going to speed up the moving of the bamboo you don't have to make the whole platform ice is fine at least putting it here when the water gets low, low makes it all grow a little bit faster and then i don't have any items in here smelting yet but what i am getting is i'm getting more bamboo so now i could take that bamboo that they're throwing in here and i can use it to plant more of my farm so go through via whatever process if you have enough already collected or if you're going to collect it from the farm while it's working fill in everywhere between here and here that your flying machine goes so that way you're knocking over a lot of bamboo and do it on both sides okay and here we go we have both sides installed it's going to take a little while to get fully going because we have some bamboo shoots that have not grown up yet we just finished placing everything but what we do have is all four of our frying machines are now operational. They are now working. We want to do a couple more things. Um, I do highly recommend you kind of come to these back sides here and you keep this from happening, which you can easily do by just building up like a little, a little bit of a barrier wall that comes just along the back side here like this. And it's just going to kind of act like a catch. Basically, it's just going to catch um, all of our um, extra bamboo that would normally maybe shoot out kind of far and it's just going to keep it from shooting off. So we're going to do that. And like I was saying, it is now time to get this thing going. I already went ahead and I put in my uh, mine cart with chests. It is distributing all sorts of great things that we want to smelt down and get out of our system here. Um, you can see that most of the furnaces are lit up, but not all of them because we did not give it quite enough time for fuel to make it all the way down here. It's something that you're going to want to do. Maybe let the farm run for about 30 minutes and fill all the way up. And it should be able to smelt for quite some time after that. Once all of these guys get filled with bamboo, like these these ones down here are kind of full as it is. And now not only do you have yourself an awesome automatic bamboo farm, but you also do have a self-sustaining uh, system for furnaces and smelting items that you can use too. So a good way to combine two things into one. So now's the fun part. We can just sit here and watch. I love doing this. Just watching the flying machines go across, watching the bamboo shoots get broken and the LA run around and collecting everything. Um, if you want to know where to AFK during this, I would have an AFK spot. I would just make yourself a little hole right down here, put some lights in, put a door on, and you're all good to go. You can stay down there for quite a long time. You may need to get yourself more storage if you're going to stay here for a long time because this thing makes bamboo fast, people. So incredibly fast. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and if you haven't already, leave a comment down below to help me out with that YouTube algorithm. If you'd like to download a copy of the world that you see here, you can do so by visiting the description down below and going to my download section where all of my tutorials are listed. Thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.